Okay, we're going to look at setting a price in this video. So let's look at this scenario. Margaret is selling t-shirts in her gift department. She purchases the shirts from a wholesaler for $10 each. Okay, so um, the wholesaler would be the company that, that sells to the store, not to customers. So she's buying these shirts from a wholesaler for $10. In order to make a profit, she's going to need to sell her shirts for obviously more than $10, because if she just sells them for $10, she's not going to make any money. So she's going to decide to mark the shirts up by 40%. So the question is, what price will she sell? Oh, that's a bit of a tongue twister. What price will she sell the shirts to the customers? Okay, so uh, she's bought them for $10, and she needs to mark them up by 40%. So what we need to do is we need to find out what is 40% of 10. So remember, 40% means divided by 100. And if we go 40 divided by 100 as a decimal, we would get 0 0.40. So 40% converted to a decimal, now we divide by 100 to get a decimal, we get 0.4. So now in order to take 40% of 10, we're going to go 0.4 times 10, and you can do this in a calculator if you like. But 0.4 times 10 is just going to be 4. So we now know that 40% of, and of means time, so 40% of 10 is $4. So she's going to mark them up by $4. So what price will she sell the shirts to the customer? $10, because that's what she's paid for the shirts, plus $4 of a markup. So she is going to sell the shirts for $14. Let's look at another example. Henry wants to purchase four pairs of work gloves. Each pair of work gloves costs $19.99, and he's going to buy four of them, and there's a sales tax of 12%. How much will Henry have to pay for the four pairs of work gloves? Okay, so what we need to we know that one pair of gloves costs $19.99. He's going to buy four pairs, so that's going to be $19.99 times four, because he's buying four of them. So $19.99 times four is $79.96. $79.96 for the four pairs of gloves. But now he goes to the cash register, to the till, the checkout, and, of course, they're going to add the tax to this purchase. And the tax is 12%. So we need to find 12% of $79.96. And again, just like in the last example, we need to take 12% and divide it by 100 so that we can get convert that to a decimal. And dividing by 100 is just going to move the decimal left two places. So 0.12 would be 12% is a decimal. And of means times. So 0.12 times 79.96. 0 0.12 times 79.96 is... Nine dollars and let's see, this would be 0.59, but this next digit is a five, so we're going to bump that up to 0 0.60. So 9.60. So nine dollars and sixty cents is going to be the tax. That would be the 12 percent. So that much money is going to go to the government for the taxes, and so the total cost is going to be $79.96 plus the $9.60. So 79.96 plus $9.60 for a grand total of $89.56. $89.56. So that would be the total cost 
of the four pair of gloves, including the tacks.